Hi guys, it's Stacy, and today's February 10th, 2021. Um, uh, Holy Spirit just gave me a um, revelation that I had to share because it's so amazing. Um, and again, please bring this to the Lord, guys. Um, please test the spirits. Um, um, don't take it on me. Um, please bring this to the Lord. Please pray over it. I, I just do this in obedience and I pray that I am not misled. I pray every day that I am not misled. All right, so um, okay, I'm gonna share my dream. Okay, guys. Okay, guys, so this is a dream that I had um, on September 8th of 2020 and I wrote this at 2.16 in the morning and it says, um, Kenneth in store riots and Kenneth is my husband, okay, in real life. and. When I say store riots, this is in my dreamy state, guys. But this is whenever I, um, you know, when you wake up in the morning, you just try to put in words that the first thing that comes pops out, pops out in your mind, and I just write it down, and um, so that in the next day I could remember. Okay. However, the Kenneth in store riots, and when I say store, I could vividly remember this was happening in a mall. Okay. And in this mall, it's so much riots, guys, and. Um, and it was just chaos and it was interesting that we were inside this specific shop and it's a shop that sells right here guys i put a um, hat but in my dream it was actually a cap okay those that you know it was a shop that you know um um sells these caps like the basketball cap the baseball cap those type of caps okay and he took the one that's left and it was as if that was very very precious like everything was taken and all the stores were robbed except for that specific hat the cap i mean there was only one left okay all right this is what the holy spirit showed me okay just um try to remember the keywords the riots and the cap okay and I was with Kenneth, and what this could represent, husband could represent Jesus, okay? All right, so I'm going to go to... Okay. All right, so this was what... This is what um, the Holy Spirit showed me. This... Um, oh God, the other one right here. This what happened in the 2021 storming of the united states capitol okay look at this the storming of the united states capitol there was a riot okay and a violent attack against the 117th united states congress okay in the u.s capitol on january 6 2021 okay and look at this guys this is one of those examples where the lord all mostly all of my dreams are highly symbolic okay you know there was a riot in the capital remember i had that dream of that cap okay and i just felt it guys like the holy spirit you know was just pointing at that capital and my dream and he led me back to my dream okay now um of course guys i was like lord jesus you have to um i don't want to assume <laughs> I don't want to assume, but please, um, you have to give me confirmation this if this is what you're really showing. Because why did this happen? Why did this take place in my dream? Why was it in a mall? Okay. Um, and the Holy Spirit, guys, it's amazing because look what He showed me too. Okay, the United States Capitol. I didn't have to go far, but where is this located? And if you read down here, it is located on the Capitol Hill at the eastern end of the National Mall. Do you see that, guys? Mall in Washington, D.C. And I was like, wow, Lord. Uh, Holy Spirit is talking. Um, you, you know, you just can't make these things up, guys. And so um again um when this happened on january 6th i had that dream on september 8th and i kind of 
um, counted how many days from when I had that dream and it, is, it was exactly, if you count the days, it was exactly 120 days from September 8th to January 6th. And this is what, of course, I looked at 120 in the Bible, what the possible, bleed, possible meaning of 120 could be. And it says, the number 120 can symbolize a divinely appointed time of waiting. After God saw how sinful and dedicated to evil man had become after Garden of Eden, he determined a 120-year period would be given for repentance and then the flood waters would come and that's amazing guys there was a period and then the flood waters would come a period of repentance and so it seems like a period of um it seems like judgment or you know if it's I don't want to go into conclusions, but I just saw this number 120. It's highly prophetic, guys. Please look into it. Um, and, you know, just the Holy Spirit would just talk to you. All right. Um, and so, yeah, it's amazing, guys. Just amazing. And so, guys, it's just amazing. I had to share that because this is one of those dreams that, wow, it's just how symbolic um the lord is he doesn't give me at least for me the complete scene but then when you seek it's amazing how he reveals things and he confirms things and so um why am i sharing this because you know this is all for god's glory because um um the lord is comforting us and he is reminding us that he is in control he knew that this this was that that this this was to, that this was going to happen and he knows what is to come and so because um you know uh you know in the bible when the more you know things that are revealed to you um and you know you if you see again in ezekiel if you see things that are coming and um if you don't warn those people of things to come, then the blood will be in your hands. And so I'm just doing this in obedience. Um, and I humbly go back to my dream, one of my very first dreams where I, 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 as I was looking out in the window, I see two angels, one over here and one over here, and they were holding the trumpet like this, okay? That, like they were about to blow the trumpet. And as I saw that, I came running up inside my house upstairs and I was shouting, Jesus is coming, Jesus is coming. And house could represent ministry. And um, then I had another confirmation dream. And at that time, I did not know what that was because I did not know what that meant because I was, um, I was a, you know, I was just a new born again believer. I was just slowly waking up but then I had that, I just, I could remember vividly that second dream where I was outside of my house and I was shouting, and I, I was seeing military planes dropping bombs. And I was shouting, Jesus is coming, Jesus is coming. And the Lord led me to this channel. Um, and I'm shouting right now, Jesus is coming. And with these, um, these dreams he's showing us things he um he confirms things and um that is because you know he's confirming um that he is coming and he is preparing i believe we are in that process where he is preparing his bride um we are in the purification process it's like we are engaged right now and we are just keeping ourselves clean because we know that the Lord's return is imminent and because we know this times and we know that this is the season and everything that the Lord is showing it's all it's all wicked it's all the work of evil it's all the work of the Antichrist that is about to come and so all right um yeah if you don't know if you don't know the Lord yet guys it's time to surrender and accept to accept the Lord our God as our Savior. Just open your heart, guys. The Holy Spirit is talking to you. 
Um, all right, before I go um, into that, um, let me share a dream that I had last night. And this was very, very, um, one of those dreams where it's, I was just, I was just awake in this dream, so conscious, guys. And I was flying in this dream and I was in the sky. And I just knew that I had to remember these events because when I wake up, I'm gonna have to make a, a full account of it. And so I was just trying to constantly concentrate and remember. And I was being handed this thing and it looked like a metal, like a heavy metal plate. Okay, it was oblong. It looked like uh, like in the form of a belt. Okay, but it was heavy and it was dark in color. And in the middle, I could see, I could remember, like even in this dream, I said, uh, it looked like it was in the shape of a skull. And the Lord knows that I don't like those. <laughs> I don't like anything black, anything skull, skullish. Um, but yeah, I was like surprised that it was being hand, like it was being shown to me. And um, so I was like, oh, what am I gonna do with this? Because, you know, that's just not my type of thing. And then suddenly I hear it talking, like literally talking, like I was just listening to a radio. And so I put it in my ear, okay? And I heard it, like I was trying to, I have to remember, I have to remember what I'm hearing here. That was what I was trying to, uh, in my consciously in my thoughts okay and then I heard these words um, um, I heard chemical making film paint control okay um, and then I slowly woke up and I just knew there was something guys because one of those dreams were like I just knew that what that was something that, that was revelation and so um of course, I did a little research and I typed in chemical making film, uh, paint control, and I was led to this, um, what is that called? Oh my gosh, guys. It, Bye Bye Blue group, okay, or website, where this is a group of um, people who are, um, who are claiming that um, there is so many things that is um, transmitted, chemicals that are being transmitted through planes, through jet planes, and this is transmitted in the air. And it's just full of, you know, it's just poisonous, full of metal that there was, um, they said that um, there was one, who said that they she even um, tested her soil, tested her dog, and it was full of, what is it, barium, aluminum, and it's just poisonous to our health. Now, um, why did I share this? Because guys, that was just, it just Holy Spirit revealed to me like that. This happened in the sky. And, you know, these are things, chemicals in the sky. And I was, Surprise! I was being shown this metal, heavy metal plate, and again, being transmitted is metal, and it was in the shape of the. In the front was a shape of a skull, and what does skull represent? It means death, right? And so these chemicals. I mean, I'm just saying what I'm being shown in my dream. It could represent, you know, something that is deadly or poisonous. Okay. And again, going back to what I heard, chemical making film, okay, and paint control. What do we do with paint? We spray it, right? Um, and I'm just, it's just interesting, guys, what I heard, when I heard control, paint control, being, if you look into it, spray um, in an attempt to control, okay? And again, maybe, um, a lot of you know more about this. Um, I'm just sharing what I was shown. And again, um, I'm just sharing that the Lord is pointing something in the sky. Chemicals, um, talking about chemicals, um, paint control, okay? Look into that, um, please um, share if you, uh, if you know anything. 
and it's amazing guys i'm just uh, um again i share this because you know the lord is trying to wake his children up um i don't know i'm not in depth with everything but that's all i need to know knowing that um you know the lord is in control he is com comforting us he is protecting us and he is he's just confirming that he is with us no matter what and through these you know if you open your eyes to see and ears to hear he would you know he would love to do that we are all given spiritual gifts it's just not me so many people around the world having the same type of dreams um all pointing to the times and season and it's amazing he loves us so much guys and he's revealing and he is showing us things okay and i believe in this channel he's going to show us more um and that is how amazing our lord is um yeah i pray this blesses you let us continue um to walk in the spirit continue to walk in this love knowing that you know that's all we need every day it's it's just him in our hearts and everything is you know we don't need anything else and um all right i all right guys um i pray this blesses you um i pray that the lord may protect you um i pray that he would give us more dreams signs revelations um and my prayer is that everyone would just continue to, let's just continue to build that relationship with the lord because he is calling his bride at this time okay all right guys um love you all um have a you know have a wonderful week blessed week ahead okay bye guys